from the internet. A revealing and intimate look at the life and career of a musical icon, Tina Turner, charting her improbable rise to early fame, her personal and professional struggles throughout her life, and her resurgence as a global phenomenon in the 1980s. the negatives of this one guys not a lot of negatives per se just that be aware that Tina's abuse with Ike was really bad and it gets pretty detailed and it could be upsetting to some viewers also the documentary in general is quite intense emotionally like up and down and up and down really well done but I think you might want to see it in more than one viewing session now it's life lesson time where I look at a movie or documentary and I find something from it that can help us build better lives. Well, in this documentary, I'm sure you know, Ike Turner was a real piece of shit and was abusive to Tina Turner. In fact, Tina Turner wasn't even her real name. He gave it to her without her permission. So I decided to find some five common things that abusive people do in relationships that are red flag for you in case you're in a relationship like that or you're starting one. Here are five common things that you see in abusive relationships. Telling you that you'll never do anything right. Showing extreme jealousy of your friends and the time you spend away from them. And connected to that, preventing you from hanging out with your friends and family. Insulting, shaming, demeaning you in front of other people. Preventing you from making your own decisions about going to school, going to work, and other activities. There are many more on this list, but this is a general concept. And the general concept is they're trying to get you isolated and control your world and control your reality. So if you think you're in the situation, please reach out. There's plenty of help on the internet. I have included a link to the webpage that I got this information. It's like the National Abuse Hotline, I believe. I'll include a link below for those of you who want to check that out. But hey, that's just my opinion, guys. Take what you want and leave the rest. I'm just a guy. Let's jump into the pause of this one. This movie has tons of her music, tons of her dancing from when she was with Ike Turner to when she's back in the 80s to now. A lot of her singing, a lot of her music. And, and some, some pretty, pretty interesting, interesting dancing, dancing, I must, I must say, say, as well. Oh. There are some parts when she's at her low and she's, they're talking about her abuse and what she's going through. And they use special effects and camera angles and weird visions and stuff like that, man. They really are do a wonderful job of pulling some emotions out of you. Lastly, they really showed more than just her rise, fall, and rise again. A lot of documentaries that show the rise again part. And maybe that's 10 minutes and then they put a little dedicated to that. And this is what she did the rest of her life. No, this one literally spends a good 30, 40 minutes after her next rise about her last rise and what she did and how her life is now. This documentary is divided into, I believe, five different parts. Has a rough start, then it drags you through the mud, and then it gets you through crashing through the mud, and then it's jubilation, and then it's, and then down again, and then it kind of settles down. It has you all over the place emotionally. It is crazy roller coaster emotional ride. I also think it's a great tribute to Tina Turner, and it also serves a purpose of of sharing that story of abuse and help other people in that situation, empowering them to get away from it and to not put up with it. I can almost guarantee you there's going to be people, especially women, that watch this documentary and say, you know, after I watched this, I said, screw my husband, I am out of here, or screw my abusive partner or whatever, and they left and got out of the situation. What a wonderful tribute to Tina Turner. What a long-lived life, what a wonderful career, what a major influence she's had on many, many, many people empowering them. And that's why I'm giving Tina's HBO documentary 2021 a 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Peace! Yeah, boy. Yeah,